What up, my Dungy Dungy dudes? We got Ryan Dungy going to be doing all 12 rounds of the Lucas Oil Pro Motocross Championship in 2022, my dudes. So, you guys know at first it was supposed to only be the first two rounds, kind of like I was personally thinking it was going to be some just kind of like a silly little let me go race a couple nationals just for the the shits and giggles nothing too serious you know like why would dungy be trying to get serious all of a sudden back into it right after all those years of retirement but that really doesn't seem to be the case here now uh dungy has confirmed he's going to be racing all 12 rounds he wants to win <laughs> i don't know where the fuck all this is coming from bro I have no idea, but I, yeah, I thought it was worthy to make a video on it for sure. Definitely let me know down in the comments what you guys think about Dungy doing all this. I mean, I just don't know, like, I think it's really cool, don't get me wrong, but I just, I don't know, like, what, what Dungy thinks he's gonna get out of it, you know, or what, it's like, what, are we gonna fuck around and see Dungy in Supercross next year? I mean, like, I don't know what this is going to turn into or what it's trying to be or what it it's just always such a very bizarre experience when you get these really good you know x pro motocross racers that try to try to like come back in some kind of a way it just never really seems to to fully pan out right and it's it's not like with chad reed you know chad reed's situation was he was there racing the whole time, even though, you know, Chad Reed was really up into his years when he was still winning Supercross races and stuff like that. He never took that big, long retirement break. And I think that is such a massive thing. You know, these boys build up consistency year after year after year. And the bikes change year after year after year. Can Spencey boy keep it on the track? I don't know. <laughs> Bro, I, I barely play any of these games anymore. It's pretty funny when I come back in here and play them. Um, but yeah, you know what I mean? So it's like, I don't know. It's just like, don't you want it to retire on top? He did that, you know, he hurt, he hurt his back pretty sure the last time he raced outdoors, like one of his worst injuries he had his entire pro racing career, Dungy was real injury uh, free his pro career because he was consistent boy, right, but, and I think at the end of the day, like he'll probably get some, he'll probably have a decent amount of points at the end of the 12 rounds of the motocross series, but I'm just like, I, I don't know. I don't know what to think about it. I don't know what to, it, you know, at first, I feel like it made more sense at first when it was, he was just planning on doing the first two rounds, kind of like what, what Villapoto did coming back and racing the Monster Cup or just some, some little, little thing to just get their feet wet again back into the pro racing and, and then they'll just go right back into retirement, right? That's what this thing sort of seemed like at first, but now it seems to be developing into something more than that. And I just don't know, like, what the deal... Are we going to see another Dungy run out here? Like a Dungy 2023 Supercross? Are you going to go fucking whoop their ass for another three years or something? I don't know. <laughs> like, I have no idea, you know? I, it just seems weird. But I think where all this is coming from is... You know, you put these boys put their whole lives into this and finally get their self up to all those levels and Dungy winning four Supercross championships and those outdoor championships. He's done it all. So it's kind of like, what more really is there for him to do? But I guess the deal was, was he, he just was getting bored on the couch, basically, you know? Um, he kind of had his time to spend with his family when he first had his kids and stuff like that. And he's kind of gotten, gotten over that first little part of it right there, you know? And I think that's kind of right around the time when Villapoto raced the Monster Cup after he had his kids for like a couple years. You know, it seems like they always get that little juice of wanting to kind of come back into some sort of 
pro racing environment after they have their away from racing life for a for a couple years you know that they've never really got to have before but uh yeah dungy's obviously bad to the bone i mean there's like not really a question about that but who knows man i don't know but he's on red bull ktm and at the end of the day yes dungy's amazing da costa was like oh come back race next year when dungy retired back in 2017 all that stuff right but it's different now you know it's not gonna be the same dungy that you had back in 2017 i don't give a shit if dungy's been training on that red bull ktm for like six months straight, it still ain't going to be the same Dungy that you had back in 2017 or 2016. It's just not. The KTM bike itself is different, so that's a learning curve. We've seen that with Cooper Webb and Muscani this year, right? So, <laughs> so um, I, you know, I just can't quite wrap my head around. I guess we'll just have to see how this develops, but... Yeah, we got Kai Rowley in there on the Red Bull KTM and Dungey on the KTM. That'll be cool to see. Maybe Dungey will get some inspiration from like old school Kai Rowley racing and then Dungey wanting to get in there. They're both kind of similar consistency championship boys. So, But I don't think you're going to see Dungey. It, it would honestly blow my mind if Dungey got even got like a top five in any of the 12 motos this year in Lucas Oil Pro Motocross. I'm just keeping it 100 with you. It, it would genuinely shock me. And that's kind of my point here, I guess, is it's like, you know, what is Dungy going to be? Like the, the, uh, the, the B-tier level KTM rider for outdoors this year, and he's just going to kind of go back and run back through everything again maybe because he didn't really do that back in 2017 didn't really get to have his like farewell national tour or whatever you want to call it right kind of like Carmichael had you know maybe that's part of it hmm I don't know but like with Dungy's Dungy acting like okay now I want to race all 12 now I'm going to try to win some races now I'm going to try to you know don't it just doesn't seem like Dungy's looking at it like this it's just so tough, right? Because it's it's either with the when you get to this pro motocross point that these guys get to, you're either 100 into that shit or you're not into that shit. I don't know how you can be halfway in between into it or halfway dedicated to it or it's either it's all or nothing in my eyes, you know. So that's my kind of thing with it. I just don't know like where this is going to go because I think Dungy, how old's Dungy now? Is he like 32 or something like that? I'm pretty sure he's something around there. So, you know, a lot of people are going to look at Dungy's age and be like, well, yeah, he's, oh, he's only 32. I mean, that's really not that old. But like when you take everything into account of how many years it's been since Dungy's pro raced, it's been five years since Dungy's raced any kind of pro race at all. You know, I just don't know. I just don't know. And is he going to be going back on some sort of a an Alden Baker program? I mean, you know, it goes back into all that kind of shit again. It's like, but then his kid, he still has his kids and his kids are going to be growing up more and... I, I don't know. I don't know if it's like a farewell deal. I don't know if it's like Dungy's trying to come back for like two or three years, win another championship. I just don't fucking know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. <laughs> that that I guess that's why I'm making this video because I'm a little confused myself at, at what the deal was here or what the deal is here. Like I say, it made more sense when Dungy was only going to race those first two rounds, kind of just like a little, okay, everybody, all the Dungy fans get to go back and see Ryan Dungy go back and do some races, but boy, it just seems like it's turning into more and more than that. So I don't know. What if, what if, what if, <laughs> what if Dungy goes out there, gets like a fucking podium in the first race? Boy, oh boy, that would be something. Um, I don't, I don't think, uh, Hurlings is going to be there now. Um, you know, Tomac obviously has the little knee injury going on. Webb's not going to be there. So it did kind of take a little bit of, I guess, pressure off of like Dungy doing good in outdoors this year. It's not like, oh, 
somebody could like jump in and replace him or something. He is the replacement right now, you know? Dungey literally is the replacement for somebody else right now. So, who knows, man? I don't know. It's an interesting little storyline brewing up right here, but I just don't know. I don't know how. I, I really don't know how Dungey is going to be able to do anything better than like like a top 10 you know i just don't know how he would do any better than that these other boys been racing this whole time you know i, I just don't know like there's a lot of younger hungry boys in there like is anderson racing outdoors I'm pretty sure he is you know if you got like anderson in there sexton in there um is Ferrandis racing outdoors? If he's racing outdoors, I mean, that's last last year's champ. Like, it's gonna be hard to break into that top five if you're if you're a dungy at this point. I just feel like um, so, but still cool nonetheless. Just want to make a little video about Dungy doing the twelve round instead of two. I never thought Dungy was gonna come back. I know he had kind of talked about it there like a year ago, year or two ago with the Geico Honda shit. Everybody thought he was gonna come back with that. But what Dungey does have on his side is it is still the, the last team that he was on. It's the exact same last team that he was on. So if there was any sort of gaps in his trying to figure out the bike again or whatever, I think that will be accelerated a little bit in the sense of it's the same guys he was working with before. It's He feels at home on that team. You know, it's it's all those things coming back around, right? So I think that in itself will help Dungey a little bit, but I still just don't think there's any fucking way he's going to do any better than like like a top 10. I just don't I don't I don't see how that could possibly happen when he's missed 5 years, you know? But who knows? Maybe Dungey's trying to build up something else again. And and I understand it. You know, when these boys get this deep into all this shit, it's like, how do you just stop doing it? That is a that would be a massive struggle. I know McGrath kind of did that in Supercross. He tried to hang on to it for for a long, long time after the fact, you know. And he was still in there racing and, and wasn't getting all that good of results for a little while there at the end of McGrath's career. Um I don't know. It. I guess the, the. Uh, and, and you know, Dungey was so worried about, about retiring on top, right? Hmm. It is interesting. Boy, he would shock the fucking world if he went out there and did good, though. I mean, he would shock the world. Maybe it's possible for him to just get all right back into shape and right back into where he was i guess but it seems like that wouldn't be able to happen until like the very end of the outdoor series if it was gonna happen you know what i mean i just don't it's like by the time he would start figuring it out it would already go into next year where you got webb and whoever the hell plessinger right on the ktm team i don't know who they're gonna have for that third KTM rider next year, or if they're going to have a third rider. I don't know what Muskan did. Did Muskan sign anything for outdoors? I don't think he did. But nonetheless, man, Dungey fucking doing it again out here, man. The diesel just still rolling, dude. <laughs> diesel still pumping, dude. Oh, bro. That is the thing about Dungey. He will fucking rock your ass with consistency. And if you ain't there every round, Dungey will... If it's one of those kind of national years where nobody's really doing all that great or there's only like one guy doing pretty good and then he crashes, who knows, man? Who knows? I guess there's still that possibility there for Dungey to, to do something. But I guess that's my thing is it's like if you're going to race all 12 rounds of the outdoor series, you're literally coming out of retirement. It's not just a... Oh, we're just goofing around. This is just kind of a little throwback to the old days, a little, little wave goodbye to everybody again or whatever. If he's racing all 12, this seems like a, a lot more serious of a deal than I think a lot of us anticipated. So who the hell knows, man? Maybe maybe I'm off on all this. Maybe Dungey will be able to go out there and do it. I don't know. 
I don't know. I've, I'm like, I'm just back and forth on it. So either way, man, definitely let me know down in the comments what you guys think. I'm going to keep these videos rocking and rolling. Be sure you got all notification bells hit for the channel. I'm going to be making all kinds of different videos here pretty soon. So hell yeah, dogs. Either way, hope you guys like these old Moto News style videos. And we'll keep on coming, bro. Later, dudes.